Hello everyone. In this study, we are going to develop a model regarding the LNG regasification system using the intermediate fluid vaporizer. As you can see here, the regasification system consists of several equipment here, the pump and the heat exchanger. We will design the regasification system that has the capability to vaporize 100 million standard cubic feet per day of LNG and send it to power plant. So I will try to explain the sequence of this process. The LNG from the storage tank here will be pumped out using the in-tank storage pump and will rise its pressure up to 10 bar. Subsequently, the LNG will be directed to high pressure pump which will further increase its pressure up to 65 bar in order to accommodate pressure required at destination. Then the LNG from high pressure pump will be routed to shell and tube vaporizer to convert it from the liquid phase to the gas phase using the heat from glycol water. Then finally, natural gas will be directed to metering system and then to the gas consumer. And in this system, glycol water is heated by seawater using the plate heat exchanger and then the glycol water is then recycled back to the shell and chop heat exchanger to vaporize the LNG and then pumped again to the plate heat exchanger. Maybe we can try to develop a model in Aspen Heises. For the beginning, we can start the simulation by selecting the required compounds that we will simulate in this study and then you can choose the fluid package and I will choose the Pang Robinson fluid package here then you can go on to simulation inf environment then the LNG here first we can see the stream you can follow me in terms of the operating condition I actually specify the pressure at 1.2 bar and the molar flow is 100 million standard cubic feet per day for the composition you can specify the composition in your simulation by following this data you can start by connecting the respective stream that I have prepared before with the unit operation first one is low pressure pump or in tank pump then the HP or high pressure pump will connect to the vaporizer then we can make stream which consists natural gas here, or LNG that has been vaporized by the vaporizer so we have developed a mainstream for this process can specify the operating of respective unit operation actually I want to rise the pressure up to 10 bar then the HISIS will calculate the output stream by itself and then from L LP pump or low pressure pump we will further rise the pressure up to 65 bar then we can rename the streams here and try to specify the shell and tube vaporizer then we can keep it as it is for the temperature outlet from the vaporizer from the tube side because we will use the simple weighted model and I think it's enough for the tube side we can develop or create a stream for the glycol water we can connect this one I want to flip this stream 
then we can connect the cell set to suction pump then we can specify the stream glycol water inlet and the outlet from the challenger vaporizer and to specify the inlet is 25 centigrade and for the outlet is 15 centigrade because the temperature we want at this stream is 10 centigrade for the initial value we can specify maybe 20,000 ton per day it's the composition yeah don't forget to specify the composition you can follow me using this data I obtained from the academic paper as initial value I want this stream is 5 bar you can see the temperature is still far from the temperature required which is 10 centigrade maybe we can rearrange this all of the scheme we want to complete first and then we will adjust this temperature to meet the temperature required at the power plant or at the consumer connect this discharge pressure discharge stream from the glycol water pump to the cold stream inlet of plate heat exchanger we can make stream here called outlet then we can create seawater stream heating medium of legal water stream then we can rename the respective stream 